Hey guys, it's Billy. Um, I'm out here in our yard. We just got back from church. I'm about to hide some Easter eggs for the girls. It'll be their third Easter egg hunt this weekend. Um, so that's, that's going to be fun for them. But uh, this morning when we woke up, about 6 o'clock, 6.30, we called the girls into our room. They got in bed with us and we read the Easter story. And then at church just now, I read the story again. And you know what hit me? about the story um, is the three days that everybody had to wait, um, you know, between when Jesus was crucified on a Friday and when he actually rose from the dead on a Sunday. And it, it's that process and what happens in our minds and our spirits and our hearts and, and inside of us during the waiting that seems to be such a powerful tool for God. You know, you just, you think about when you make bread and then you've got to wait to let it rise and then you've got to put it in the oven and you've got to wait, you know, for it to cook in the oven. That process of waiting, if, if you didn't wait, then, you know, there'd be nothing good to eat, right? There, nothing good would happen. You'd have all the ingredients together, but without the waiting, nothing good would happen. And you know, that this is so typical of God. You know, this, this is something that God uses. You know, he, if he is the ultimate chef, certainly, you know, using the oven, right, and allowing something to cook. All the ingredients are there, but it needs the time to cook is a part of his process, whether it's anointing David, but David doesn't become king for about 15 years. Or it's Joseph having dreams, but he doesn't become second in charge for about 15 years. You know, whether it's the children for 40 years, you know, in the wilderness, um, and, and that was because they didn't obey, but still there was a, there was a, a process. There was a refinement. There was a waiting. Something had to happen, right? There was time spent. Um, and there was Jesus in the grave for three days, right? And everybody had to wait. And through that waiting, um, you know, I think that's when something um, very important happened in their hearts and in their lives that couldn't have happened uh, otherwise, right? They, they needed the three days for what it did in them, right? And we need the waiting period. And there's things that we're waiting on that we want to happen now. But there's a reason why we wait, and when we do wait, even though all the ingredients are there, when we do wait, then something really special happens that only God can do uh, in us. And then once it happens in us, it can happen, us, happen through us, right? Once the bread is cooked, then people can enjoy it, right? So when God does things in our lives through that waiting period, then not only have we been made into who he wants us to be, but we can be the people who can make a difference in others' lives. So happy Easter, everybody. I hope that blesses you.